Hello everybody, welcome back to the Curious Expedition. Today we are going to go into the fourth expedition. We'll go to more grasslands. The sad prehistoric lands. A remote area that's hidden inside a giant mountain crater. No one really knows what is waiting there. Or the merciless drylands. We're going to the sad prehistoric lands. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, gentlemen approached me while I twiddled my thumbs. He challenged me to complete the expedition within 80 days and offered a reward on completion. Let's try that. Cook offered to join. No thank you. Let's purchase some equipment. So we are getting low on stuff. I'm going to buy another torch. I'm going to bring some chocolate. Ooh, binoculars. Increase the viewing distance. That's an expensive set of binoculars. But I'm going to buy chocolate. Because that's going to come in handy for refilling our sanity. I'm going to buy a couple of torches, some more machetes. I suspect those are going to come in handy. we got a lot of rope. Can't afford the binoculars then, which I guess... I guess we'll go without the binoculars. Um... We don't really need the shovel, but we can't sell them now. More chocolate, I suppose. Let's make an, ad an, an, an attempt at the sad prehistoric lands. Possibly with dinosaurs. So that is telling me that the temple is north. There might be another magnetic mountain, but... <clears throat> Let's. Oh, there is a magnetic mountain right there, so that's what it's pointing at. So we can't trust our compass here. But that's only going to be 19 sanity, so let's go there. And there's a spring we can sleep at. Enter the slaver camp. I guess we'll inspect the slaves. Uh, we're not going to buy any slaves. Let's trade. Let's get some dynamite. Good old dynamite. Solution to almost any problem. It's even capable of blowing passages through mountains. That is not maybe something we want to get, but the booze maybe is. Probably going to be better than chocolate, so we're going to buy that booze. Alright, let's head over here. Now the temple's pointing in this direction. Alright, let's explore this. Oh, we could stay. Let's rest overnight. Young native was struggling. Fed off a hideous beast. Oh. We'll help him. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Roll. Attack. We'll kick him. Oh, this is not gonna go well. We're gonna defend, then re-roll everything. Precise attack. Defend, let's roll that, maybe we'll get something. Repost, okay. Okay, end the round. He is gonna do an attack. And it's gonna take a fair bit of damage from us, that's not great. Let's re-roll. Uh, do a headbutt. Okay. Does that give us anything with any of these things? Tactical advantage. Shield 2. We're going to need that. We'll hold that one. And then we'll roll. Having those isn't doing us any good. So let's re-roll again. Crap. And we're out of rolls. And none of these actually do anything. Oh no. I don't I don't think our people die when that happens, but that's not good. They just get kinda knocked out of this. Headbutt. Ripper leap. Do the ripper leap. Roll. Stable position. We got no rolls. Okay, enemy turn. Eee. <laughs> Oh, we don't have any attack anymore. 
the best we could do is maximum defense. We might have to flee. Oh no. How do I flee? There's usually sometimes a flee thing, but I think maybe we have to wait for everybody to get hit. No! Game over! You died in combat! If you lose all your dice, you've been knocked out in combat. Game over. So, that was a poor decision to fight that guy. Crap. Okay, so that is, I guess, where we're going to end. Um, maybe we'll play some more of this. So once again, I am Nightcat. This has been Curious Expedition. Thank you for watching. Take care.